Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is John Paul Giancarlo. I'm the m and &E Technical Specialist for South Europe um, Autodesk. Um, today I just want to show you in this uh, tips and tricks series for Maya um, one thing that is very regular in a production environment. So I just received a file, right, from a coworker, and even though I can see, I can see the texture. When I go, when I go look at the texture, it's actually not pointing to my hard drive, but it's pointing to C users over or uh, desktop, which is, which is the guy who textured this particular asset here. So if I try to uh, view it, obviously. It won't be it won't be able to find it so it did give me this result hollow circle one the jpeg it's an invalid argument it means it doesn't exist on my hard drive but how come am i seeing it here uh if it's not on my hard drive that's something that it will make you wonder uh so i'm just gonna go to windows right and i'm gonna go to general editors and here you have my file path editor so if i got if i if i come here you see, I got 96 resolve. Why is that? Because this texture actually exists on my disk. Okay, so it exists on my source files. So because I'm pointing it to to my mail file um, in my local hard drive, which is uh, going to be here in my D, right my content, and I'm going to go to Maya. I do have a workspace.mail, so that's why Maya is able to. Um, resolve all these issues but what if i wanted to send this to the farm see what's going to happen is that if the maya or the, um, the, the the render node is not going to be able to find this particular texture and it's going to render back um, a black um, texture base pretty much so on error you get a black uh, a black object or a black material so you have to be very careful and and you have to check every single texture before you send it to a farm. So what do I have now? So what I want to do, I have a script, right, which is very famous, which is named File Texture Manager. So File Texture Manager out of the box, is it won't work in Maya 2017 because of the mental ray nodes. So you have to go into your notepad a or i'm using notepad plus plus and change the all the mental role all the mental ray files to just a regular file so i'm just going to do a f search and replace for mental ray textures right and i'm going to replace it for file and then i'm going to do uh, replace all once that's done um I can use it here. So if you don't know where to find this file texture manager, uh, you can always go to the 3D high end, high end 3D, sorry, website. Google it. It's called File Texture Manager. And that's pretty much it. You'll be able to find it pretty easily. Then do that change that I show you there, changing just the mental ray nodes for, for a file node, and it will work uh, once more in this version of Maya. So if you analyze, analyze the scene now, you can see I have 80 of them, uh, 82 of them exist on my D drive, my app source images, but I have 14 of them that are not exist. So basically they're not on my hard drive. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all of them and then I'm going to set a target directory, which in this case I already have it done. So it's the Dreadnoughts Content 2017 source images. And what am I going to do? Because all my files are already there, I'm just going to set the path. But if you don't have them in there, you can basically copy the files into that particular folder where you could you keep all your, your source images. And once that's done, you just set the path. So See, once I've done that, uh, my job is finished, and it's asking me to refer to the script editor for more details. Well, I know I've done it, so how do I know it's done it? I can analyze the scene file textures once more. So if I do that, you can see now I have 96, te 96 textures pointing to the right directory. So 96 of them exist on my hard drive. So if I come back here, and I go to the color, and I do view texture, now it's showing it to me because you can find it. So that's pretty much it for these tips and tricks, guys. So I hope you enjoy this one, and well, I'll see you next time.